Hey parents and teachers, did you know that we have an app now? For a small monthly price, you can get access to all of our lessons in a safe, distraction-free environment. Just visit artforkidshub.tv to learn more. Hey art friends, today we're gonna draw a kangaroo. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need a marker, some paper, and... Something to color with. All right, let's get started. We're first gonna draw the eye, and we're gonna draw over here on the left side of our paper so that we have room for the whole body. And we're gonna draw our kangaroo jumping, too. And I'm gonna draw an eye about that big. Eyeball. Eyeball. I'd draw a little bigger. There we go. And then we can add a smaller circle inside for the highlight, and then color in the big circle, but leave the little one white. Yeah, just like that. Now we're gonna draw the head. We're gonna start right here over the eye, and we're gonna draw a curve that comes over the top. Then we're gonna draw a U shape right here. It's kind of a diagonal U shape. Then we're gonna draw the cheek, comes out like this. Yeah, now we can draw the ears. And we're gonna draw a line that comes up like this. Yeah, you're doing great, <laughs> Hadley. And then we're gonna draw another line coming back down. Yeah, good. I uh, love your ears. <laughs> and we, we can draw two ears, right? So let's draw another line right next to it that matches. And then we're going to draw a short line down to connect it. Perfect. Hadley, you're doing awesome. <laughs> uh, it's okay that our two little kangaroo faces look a little different, right? Yes. I especially love yours and the little eyelashes. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Now we're going to draw the back of our kangaroo's neck. We're going to draw a curve that comes down like that. Yeah. Then we're going to draw the front. We're going to start right here where the cheek is and we're going to draw a line that comes down like this and then curves right at the end. Now let's draw the front arms and they're really short and they're cute. So we're going to draw a line that comes down like this, a little diagonal line right at, right at the end and then we're going to draw a line coming down. Then let's draw the hands. We're just gonna draw a little U shape. <laughs> yeah, and then we're gonna draw the arm line coming back up. And then we're gonna draw it coming, this is the elbow, and then we're gonna draw it coming back, diagonal like that. All right, now that she's got one arm, let's draw another arm, just like we did on the ear. We're just gonna draw part of it behind. We're gonna repeat the same steps, but we're only drawing part of it because it's behind the first one we drew. So we're gonna draw the line coming forward. And then right at the end, we'll draw the hand curving into the other hand. Oh, you're doing such a great job. Now let's draw her belly. We're gonna draw a diagonal line coming up like that from her elbow. Yeah, there you go. Then we're gonna draw her back legs and they're really big. So we're gonna first draw this curve that comes down or you could draw it going up. And we're gonna draw her jumping. She's gonna be awesome. We're gonna draw another big line that's diagonal coming down like that. And it's coming really far. We could even go even further. Kangaroos have the big back legs. Good. Then we're gonna draw her big feet coming forward like this. And then right at the end, we're gonna draw another U shape for the front of her, her little toes, the front. Now we're gonna draw the back of her leg. So we're gonna draw with the back of her foot, her leg coming back like this. It's kind of like a T-Rex, like T-Rex. Does, does yeah, the little arms up front. huge legs. Yeah, big powerful legs. And that's because they jump really high. Now we're gonna draw the diagonal line coming forward like this. And I'm getting a little further away as I go towards the top. So you can come maybe right about, yeah. There you go. Then we're gonna draw the big muscle on the back of her leg, coming around like that. Gosh, she looks really cool. Now let's draw her other leg, her other back leg. And we're just, we're gonna repeat the same steps. We're just gonna draw this line that comes down like this, and then forward, and then right at the end, curve for the foot, or the toes. Really simple, and I did that quickly because, yeah, you can just repeat the same steps. Ah, oh, you did it. Now let's draw her back, and we're gonna draw a curve right here, right in her neck, right here. We're gonna draw it coming up, 
And then we're gonna draw a big curve coming over her back and start coming down. And then this is gonna turn into her tail. We're gonna draw her tail coming down and out right at the end. Yeah, you did it. Now we're gonna draw the other side of her tail. We can start down here at the end and watch as we go forward or up, we're gonna get thicker towards the start of her tail. So it's thicker up here and then thin down at the bottom. Right there, yeah, and then curve in. All right, Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing our kangaroo and she looks so cute. Now, we're not completely done. What do we still need to do? Color it. Yeah, we need to color our kangaroos. This part, we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause it one more time to match the same color. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Hadley, give me five. You did awesome on coloring your cute kangaroo. We used burnt ochre up here on the top for her, the back and also her head and tail. We used peach for her legs and under her belly. And then we used black to add a little shading on her arms, her nose, and also her tail. Did you have fun coloring? Yeah. I hope our art friends are gonna do the same. You guys can pause the video right now to match the same coloring. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your kangaroos. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.